Uh, hey guys, uh, my name is Trelock. Uh You might know me by my C++ tutorials, or you might not know me. Uh, this this series is going to be called the Java mm, Java tutorials based on the book Java Concepts, and I'm just going to try to explain for the people that are confused uh, by the Java Concepts book and uh, the exercises that are given there, uh, what Java is and how it works. Uh, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to get BlueJ because that is the thing used in the course. And I'll just use BlueJ for now and maybe I'll tell you how to use other compilers for later so if you want to stop using BlueJ you can. So here I have google.com and I want to on Google I want to I can even enlarge it a little bit so you can see better. I want to type in download BlueJ. By the way, I've never downloaded and installed it before, but here the BlueJ is the first thing that comes up, so we click BlueJ. And let's look at this thing again. And here it says the latest official release uh, for Windows 5.1 megabytes is this one. So what I'm going to do is click it. And um, sorry that it's in Russian, but basically you want to say this option is save file, right? And uh, you want to save this file. And uh, this file, as you can see, is being saved. In 30 seconds it will be saved. Mm, um, I'm really sorry that the internet's in Russian, but I'll explain all of the things that are needed. Um, so, literally, it is uh, being downloaded um, at this time and as you can see we're well on our way to getting BlueJay so uh, in a couple of minutes okay I've downloaded the BlueJay successfully and let's just drag this on here so we can see it here's BlueJay I'm gonna double click it and run and here's the installer so I'm just gonna put it in my G drive BlueJay and that is it. So now with this quick extraction, that is what we do. And now we have BlueJ. And now BlueJ finds a suitable Java version, which is the only one I have is JDK, Java JDK 1.1.5014. .1 and you need the Java development kit to use BlueJ. So if you don't have it, uh, look it up and please get one. Uh, mine is 1.5, the newest one is 1.6, but it doesn't matter, we'll we'll do fine with 1.5. Okay, so once, uh, let's see, let's click launch, and let's drag this out of here, and drag this onto here. So we don't need this thing anymore. And uh, now as you see here is BlueJ, and uh, let's see if we can fit both of these on here, and this icon and this thing. So I'm not very proficient in using BlueJ, so you'll have to excuse me for learning uh, to program with you. But let's start the first lesson obviously with the Hello World program and I'll try to explain whatever I know uh, quickly. Right? So in BlueJ I believe you have to make a project and uh, click on the project button. And I wonder if you could do this. Nope. So you click project, new project, and uh, now it tells you where to put it. I'm just going to put it on the desktop because I don't want to complicate things for now. And I click the desktop, and for the file name, I'm just going to put, uh, I'm going to put hello world dot java um, should be fine uh, I mean hello world sorry right hello world my project is going to be named hello world and now I have this really nice thing which is called hello world and also if you look at here I have a folder that it created on the on uh, my desktop that is called hello world so supposedly it has uh, all the packaging files that go along with BlueJ which is really nice and I'm using Windows as you could have guessed so this tutorial is going to be with Windows but you'll you can 
figure out how to do it on a Mac or anything like that. Hopefully, I'm hoping the the ideas will be cr cross platform. So because Java is cross platform, so uh, we opened up J Blue J, right? We installed and opened it up, and and uh, now uh, what we will do is we will construct a new class and. I'll explain what a class is a little bit later, and for the the given period, uh, the class name will be uh, hello. Where? Yes, it will be hello, and uh, it will just be a new class. And now you t you just double click it to bring out the source code of the class, and all of this junk that we get is uh, obviously not necessary. So we'll I'll just erase all of it because uh, it's good for people who don't know how to program yet uh, because it gives them an example of how to do it but for us uh, we're just gonna start with a blank slate and uh, we're gonna write a s really simple Java program that says that outputs hello world so oops so let's see if we can uh, change the, the font size yes we can and I'm gonna try uh, I'm gonna try making it 15 Ooh. 15 okay and then display line numbers so maybe even uh, we can try 18 oh 18 on a second that should be better okay public uh, class hello so we're just gonna ca call our class the same thing that we called uh, the the file that we created or the the class that we created. So this is an initialization of a class. So this basically tells us that we we made a new class. A class um, I said I explained later, but in short terms, a class is kind of an object that has methods, and uh, methods are the ways that a class can do uh, something. So methods act on an object. Um, f for example, um, uh, for example, the object, uh, the a car could have the methods drive. A car could have the methods re uh, fill with fuel. Uh, I mean refuel. Uh, a hello object can have a method called display. But right now we're just initializing a class, and we'll talk more about classes in the next lesson. And um, uh, here is another initialization that I will have to leave for next class because we don't have time. Uh, so string, uh, so we just have a void main function, right? Uh, initialize a void main function, then the curly braces indicate the start and the end of the code of this function, right? So if I indent it, here is going to be the function. Here is the class. That's an encapsulation, basically. It encapsulates everything. It puts it together and hides it from everything else. Okay, and then inside this uh, this main method, right, main uh, function, we're just going to put system dot out dot print ln hello world. And um, th what this code does is system out dot print line prints a line out of the onto the screen, and these. Uh, these um, uh, colons, uh, not th not these colons. These things define a string, so this string is going to get printed onto the screen, and so we now compile it, and it should say uh, done, done compiling, and then you could just say um, void run void main by cl uh, right clicking onto it, clicking void main and not putting any arguments this is where the arguments go but we'll talk about that later just click a and we have a new window with the output which is hello world there we made a functional hello world program uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, we'll talk more about the things that I said here and uh, about the other uh, things to do with blue jay uh, more to come in the next tutorial in the series Thank you, have a nice day, and I hope you watch my next tutorial.